When I say Old Town Scottsdale, what do you think of? Probably a lot of partying, maybe some brunch, maybe some antiquing, shopping, but those are all true. But I don't know if you knew this, but there's actually nine different districts, little areas of Old Town that make up Old Town Scottsdale. So today we're gonna do a little walking tour. It's a perfect day here in Scottsdale. I'm gonna cover all the areas, show you a little bit about what it looks like. If you're not familiar, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on any questions you might have about Old Town. I do all kinds of videos about spotlighting different neighborhoods. Today, as an example, I'm in Scottsdale, Old Town specifically, but cover a lot of ground. I do walk through houses, all of this stuff. So if you have any questions, also reach out to me, phone and text. And we can also set up a video call, which is one of my favorites because I get to see you and we get to meet and connect. So let's get on with this video, Old Town Scottsdale. Let's do it. Currently at the Southbridge District, one of the nine, and then right across this canal is the Scottsdale waterfront. I'm gonna make a loop around here. We're gonna head that way over there to the third one on the list, which is the Entertainment District. It's gonna be kind of dead since it's early in the day, but we'll start on there and we'll kind of work our way through. Before I do that, I see they're already setting up for the final four, which is coming up here in town in the next, actually, next week. So we're gonna go check that out. I'll show you some of the setup. They had just the Super Bowl last season. It brings in a lot of people. That's one of the things that there's so many different events constantly. Also show you, there's Olive and Ivy over here. I talked about that in some of my other videos. There's uh, STK on the left. A lot of shops just over to the right on the other side of the canal, which is, like I said, this Scottsdale waterfront. So I'm on the other side of the canal here at the waterfront, just walking by Olive and Ivy. I actually was gonna go to the entertainment district, which I am, but I'm gonna cut over. I'll show you the fashion, fashion mall area first before we go over there. So now I'm walking up Marshall and there is a some hair stylists, uh, beauty places over there. There's some eating places along here. There's these huge condos that I showed in the video, the, the real high rises. There's a few on the market and they're between, probably in the low on the one million to maybe two and a half million. I'll show you a couple examples there. And then we have sauce pizza. And then this will blend right into the fashion square, which has 250 premium stores. A lot of the high end stuff, anything you can think of, you know, Gucci and Prada and all that. And then they have the anchors. Here's Nordstrom and you have, it's huge. It's just there's several wings you have to, there's even a bridge that goes across the street. Okay, we're still coming up the sidewalk on Marshall Way, right up to Fashion Square. And then there is Camelback. So it'll be a little loud with the noise, with the traffic, but you can see across the street. And they have a, a bridge across the street. This is how large the mall is. And then we have the area, there's Moxie's, which I've mentioned in a few different videos, Shake Shack, H&M, you can see Anthropology, a lot of bars, and there's also a movie theater, Apple Store, pretty much anything you can think of. Now I'm right in front of Maple and Ash, which people rave about. Don't tell anyone, I have not been there yet, but I have to try it. And then there's culinary dropout, and there's also a gym behind here, I think as well. I think Mountainside Fitness. So we'll continue down the road. Okay, we walked down Camelback and now we're circling around. We're in the entertainment district. Like I said, it's still super early, but it is Scottsdale Old Town. So I wouldn't put anything past uh, parties. There's already a lot of brunches going on. It's usually brunch and then there is drinking, well, brunch and drinking mimosas and then there's move it right to the parties. And then if you're the bridesmaids that are in town, usually they go for the hike and then they go to brunch and then they go to the parties right after they're throwing a little in between of the Airbnbs too. So right now we're walking down, there's the Maya El Jefe is in front of us. I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you some of that. Casa Amigos right off to my left here. So that's Casa Amigos. The Maya is under construction a little bit. As you, this street, would, would this will be completely full. And there'll be lines. A little bit windy out here too. 
there'll be lines and if you really want to get in you have to know someone or tip the guy or have some type of VIP service so that's the nightlife and this is the bottled blonde here like I said there's no one here yet but give it time give it time it gets pretty chaotic you got the riot house just over here and hi-fi then we got whiskey row and then cake it just opened no actually several months ago but that's one of the hot spots too i don't know all the sort of thing because it's usually pretty late crowd pretty young so i may have surpassed that age group but i've been known to uh, also have a good time all right we're cutting through the parking lot and i'm going to briskly walk I want to try to do this whole video by walking the whole thing it's covering a lot of ground but you can certainly do it just for the purpose of time in this video I'm just moving the car around a little bit to give you a pretty good idea so up ahead off to my left i'll show you there's hot chick which is another place and boondocks boondocks is a big outdoor area especially during basketball march madness and football it's really a popular spot especially sunday football time so we made it over here right behind me is hot chick a little food and bar food kind of stuff and drinks seems to be a spot where they go a little earlier in the night and then boondocks is right behind me there if we walk forward a little bit more there's a hotel and another restaurant several other spots and then this is kind of the edge of it the entertainment district we made it over to the brown and stetson area which is a smaller area restaurants bars and salons that sort of thing interior design there's a little shop across the street here's a shop or a restaurant right in front of me but they do have a cowboy flag ups or cowboy and a vikings yes i'm a viking fan still so good to see that a lot of bars that are really uh, hometown bars, Packer bars, Steeler bars, Bear bars. There's pretty much anything you can think of. So this is the IMAD bar kitchen. I've never been there either. I've hit up a lot of spots, but not hit up that one yet. So let's go to the shopping district next. And that's just right next door. So now I'm in the middle of the street walking down. <laughs> We're at 4th and Brown, the middle of Brown and Stetson. So a lot of, a lot of hair salons over here along over here behind me along the street spas and the ivs are huge so if you ever look if you're in town they're really sorry old town really meets that clientele of the ivs for the hangover especially and primping the hair the nails all that sort of thing there's a chiropractic the architecture is really cool as well so it's got the arches and probably old um, resident you know, some type of condo at one point and they turned them all into salons mainly we're almost over in the shopping area so let's get over there so we crossed Scottsdale Road which is right behind us and that's the busy one there's bourbon and bones over here there's a second story it's a good date spot it's up on there's a second floor it overlooks all the traffic and all the chaos so i mean it's, it doesn't sound romantic probably right from the description i gave you but it's a good spot it's right centrally located there's just so many things around here there's parking can be a little problematic when it gets really busy but there's this public garage it's free parking too so that's kind of nice but we're going to work around find the little shopping district and I'll show you that. Something they don't have shortage of is putting up new construction. Across the street, there's a bunch of pillars there. I don't know what that is even. I should probably check it out. Oh, AC Hotels Marriott. And there's a Marriott down the street. And then there's something behind me here too. So we're at the little shop area, shop districts. So we're going to walk around here on Craftsman Court, 3rd Avenue, just so you have an idea. But I'll turn around. You can see behind me here 
there's a lot of shops. So we'll just probably walk through here. The other cool thing about Old Town is that there's two different boulevards that go around the Old Town area so because it gets pretty congested. Congested. There's Goldwater and Drinkwater. So that helps you avoid a lot of the chaos on Scottsdale Roads. And we're just walking by. Here's the Taj Mahal, which is another good spot. And then some more salons, shops, all kinds of stuff. This is Cafe Monarch, pretty awesome. All right, we made it over to the art district. I just stopped over at Kaleidoscope behind me and had a smoothie, pretty awesome. They have some great coffee over there as well. So right now we're at the corner of Marshall and I think Third Avenue. I'll have to double check, but a lot of art galleries, uh, wine tasting, um, museums, they have everything over here. Yeah, the Coach House, which is a popular kind of a divey bar just over off the corner over here a little bit. So you got a wide variety of everything. And it's, I like the very interesting part is you have so many different little pieces of Old Town. A lot of people just think it's just party or just restaurants, but there's the, the galleries and the the shops and hotels of course a wide variety of everything just makes everything come together to make old town what it is i was wrong it's actually first avenue we just crossed goldwater and we're heading west i just want to show you one more thing and then we're going to go backtrack to the historic old town which is what everyone probably knows the most about and then we only have one more left, which I covered a little bit in a previous video at the top, pros and cons of Scottsdale. You can check that out in a link above as well. But here, I'll show you this and then the hotel over here and then we'll head back. I do have to, I have to say, I'm getting my exercise today too. It's a little bit more deceiving than it looks because it's, it's uh, pretty spread out. I've walked by this building before. I just really love it because I'm a huge fan of cacti. It might be even almost a little overboard, but cool little, little business here. Not even sure what's in there. It's a nail salon back there. And then we have, what do we have here? Just a little <clears throat> retail store. Let's go across the street. I like the architecture of this building. Got the huge cacti in front. And then the huge glass. We're just a half block down from where the Monarch little cafe was. There's a place for sale in the market. I walked by this other day, I looked it up. I can't remember, it was much more than I thought. So, well, just for curiosity, I'll throw a couple of pictures up here and what the asking price is. Say hello to the birds. And then what I wanted to show you, we're at First Avenue and 69th Street now. And this is the Valley Ho 
sometimes they'll have some events like outdoor yoga they have a restaurant in here as well but it's very very uh, Palm Springs feel and they got the old style they're trying to keep and they've been they've updated it a lot obviously but super cool We made it over to Civic Center Park. Feels like I was just over here, but I get over here a lot. And this is the, behind me, center, the Scottsdale Center for Performing Arts. And then there's also the Scottsdale, Scottsdale Museum for Contemporary Art. Consists of, I think, 21 acres. Just, so there's this, I'll show you a little bit, just a huge open field. And then right behind me is, well, there's gardens and all kinds of things. It's, it's really large. And then just on the other side, is historical town all the shops we're going to go over there next but i'll show you a little bit more of this before we head over there to kind of wind up scottsdale and our tour of old town see every time i'm over here they're setting up or tearing down for uh, a different event uh it's probably a couple weeks ago i was over here for a yoga event so this big grassy area things like yoga different things like that a lot of art exhibits and booths they'll have shows like that and a lot of concerts there's a country i can't remember what it was country fest type of thing i was over here for several months back as well probably last fall but it's just endless pretty much every weekend and then there's the love sign where you have to get your picture i'll show you that so right over there is the love sign obviously you can see it backwards <laughs> waterfalls there's a city hall over there Civic Center and then there's another you see off in the distance there there's a playground and then behind there's another area for music event or that whatever there's just so much space here and it's right next door to everything else so it's pretty awesome half block over from where we were to the historical old town and I just heard one of the pedal pedal whatever you pedal buses group of people drinking and I can hear the woos so people are uh, starting to really gather in now as the day is getting into middle to later afternoon so <clears throat> it's getting a little bit busy here so let's take a look see what the historical piece has to offer Walking down the sidewalk, little tea bar there. It's getting quite warm out. And then if you look across the street, there's just more of the same across the street here. So I'm still going down the same block, making my way over to Scottsdale Road. If you look up, to the right, you'll see the big sign. There's a few of those around. Bell's Nashville Kitchen. But the big Scottsdale sign with the guy on the horse. Pretty familiar with that, I'm sure you. There's an Italian bistro over here. Everyone's sitting outside. Palm trees. Doesn't get any better than this. There's our sign. Cut over on First Avenue. This is one of my favorite blocks. There's Hula's Modern Tiki on my right. And on my left, we have Patty's, which is a cheap Irish pub. And then next to it, Siena Gaves, which I talk about a lot here. It's one of my favorites. They have great nachos and a great happy hour. And then there's more shops along here, more of the same. 
that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe. Leave me any questions you have about Old Town because I'd love to help you answer what kind of questions you have about Old Town, Scottsdale in general, maybe even Chandler, Gilbert, Queen Creek, Tempe, the whole list goes on on East Valley. Reach out to me, text, phone, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,